while not disputing the undeniable qualities of the back end, we will finish by dropping out the back four and finish on the front six. <laughs> Ready? Look for trouble. Trouble's going. Gone. We would like to take out, or we need to take out all the pews, we would like not to put back the ones in the nave. That is uh, currently being argued about in an ecclesiastical court called the Court of Arches. We have uh, a decision a local decision by our diocesan chancellor giving us permission. The Victorian Society are appealing against that decision. They want to preserve those pews. The argument uh, is fierce and feelings are quite high. Building works would have begun in 1499. This archway just here behind you would have been completed around 1520. Mm. And it's been built a little bit like a bridge. First, you start off with a wooden framework, and then with the heavier stones to form these pillars. You then had the lighter stones to actually form the fans themselves. And then holding it together, the keystone, which just goes right there in the centre. You can see part of that keystone just sticking out to the left hand side over there in the centre. Mm -hmm. And that is essentially keeping us around 25 metres off the abbey floor because all of the weight will go through there, get spread out across the fans and then down into the pillars beneath. So once it was in place, the wooden framework could then be removed. But first of all, some quality control, 16th century style. Every builder working up here had to then go and stand on the abbey floor stand directly mm. underneath the keystone. So when the wooden framework was taken away, the builders hadn't done their job properly, but on their own heads be it, quite literally in this case. Mm. Oh, and he was very interested in finding out anything. That I, I I've given him all I know, but you <laughs> will know more than I do. Golly, golly, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Matthew, um, <laughs> who rescued us. <laughs> Well, yes, I'm not sure he did. did he? He, bought, he bought it, and, he, then, he and, bought then, and then his son gave it to the corporation. Yes, right? yes. But he didn't do much to it, did he? In, uh, no, but, but that's not the point. Right. Um, the, 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 the great parallel <laughs> is Coventry. Mm. The, yes. It's a parallel because um, Coventry and Lichfield, yeah. which is a single diocese in the Middle Ages, yeah. Bath and Wells, yeah. they're the only two di dual dioceses. They have two cathedrals. What happened in Coventry was that uh, when the, the Augustinian uh, Priory was dissolved, the same time as, as Bath here, yeah. the, the Bishop of Coventry, who was, uh, oh sorry, Bishop of Coventry and Lichfield, yes. he's 
uh, he's a power in the land. He's, um, he's the lord of the, um, the council for Wales. Okay. He's running Wales. What's his name? Um, Roland Lee. He writes to Henry VIII uh, and, and Cromwell and says, please don't destroy my cathedral in Coventry. Yeah. Um, they take not the slightest notice. Yeah. And the medieval Coventry Cathedral is raised to the ground. Right. That could have happened in Bath. Uh -huh. Everything else, yeah. the, the bishop's palace, all the monastic buildings, yeah. the cloisters, they, they all went. Yeah. Had not Matthew Colthurst rescued this building, unfinished as it was, yes. by buying it. So it was the Colthurst's father and son yeah. who took it on. Yeah. Okay, they didn't do anything with it. What, what, in the sense, they, what could they, they saved it from destruction. They saved it from destruction. Okay. And it was still there when things had calmed down a bit yes. into the reign of Elizabeth. Yes. Okay. And then they sold it back to the corporation. Gave it yep. back to the corporation. Gave it back to it, yes. yes. Who were then prepared to do something to it? Or, yes. Okay. Yes. Which is what you were just describing. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Well, thank you. <laughs> Glad to meet you. This, this is on page three of your uh, first, first copy of the information. Yeah. Um, did, actually, just this is one minute. Can we just have quiet two, just those first eight bars? Quiet two only, the first eight bars of Gloria. Just make sure we're not playing. Eight, two, and. Gloria! Let's do the very end of that piece. Come Santo Spiritu, bar 92. Come Santo Spiritu, the end of the glory, please. Come, so, on. Come Santo Spiritu, in glory, and in spiritu, in glory, and in
We pray, pray for places where communities have been destroyed, families divided or separated, for children who have lost contact with parents. And we remember all who seek to heal that which divides. And we pray this morning particularly for North and South Korea, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. stood still. The present Bath Abbey uh, has been here for 500 years, not unchanged, hugely changed. And what we want to do is to continue that change, to make it fit for purpose for the 21st century. Thank you. 